The U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission is trying to calm public concerns about safety after a tornado forced the emergency shutdown of a nuclear power plant in Alabama. The commission briefed residents near the Browns Ferry nuclear plant in the southern state of Alabama on Tuesday. A tornado in the area knocked down external electric power and forced the plant to shut down. Alabama is prone to the storms, which killed more than 200 people in April. Residents said they're worried that a direct hit to the reactor buildings could cause a disaster. I'm feeling that we cannot trust the safety of this old equipment. The commission said the emergency shutdown was safely performed and the power company will carry out additional safety measures. Uh, and Browns Ferry, like the 104 other plants that are licensed in the country, have uh, the ability to withstand high winds, tornadic winds. Commission officials say many people in the United States are increasingly concerned about the safety of nuclear power following the accident in Japan. Officials say they will continue trying to assure the public that the country's nuclear facilities are safe. Japan's cool beats campaign has just got a whole lot more casual. Office workers will be encouraged to dress down this summer, getting the green light for jeans and sandals. The Environment Ministry is responding to the acute power shortages caused by the accident of the Fukushima power plant. The new drive, dubbed Super Cool Beats, allows even more casual attire in the summer workplace. Hawaiian shirts, jeans, polo shirts and sandals are now all acceptable work dress. The previous campaign only encouraged workers to go without ties and jackets to reduce their need for air conditioning. It's more work efficient than the regular cool biz attire. The campaign is not just about what to wear, but helping everyone to think about how to save energy. In southwestern Japan, Takeo City in Saga Prefecture is taking the concept a step further. It launched an ultra cold biz campaign on Wednesday, allowing employees to work in shorts. The city is anticipating sometime power shortages due to the partial suspension of a local nuclear power plant. It did not feel as strange as I expected to wear shorts at the office. I think it will help save energy. The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi plant, which is struggling to remove radioactive water, says it may use two additional buildings inside the compound to store the water. Tokyo Electric Power Company said on Wednesday that water levels are rising in underground tunnels extending from the number two and three reactors and the basements of their turbine buildings. It said the levels rose for 24 hours through Wednesday evening. 
The water in the tunnel of the number two reactor is now over 30 centimeters below ground level and 25 centimeters at the number three reactor. Engineers are concerned that the water may overflow from the shaft in the event of heavy rain. TEPCO hopes to use two existing buildings, but with just one basement floor each, they can hold only a limited amount of radioactive water. The firm says it will start operating a filtering system in the middle of this month to speed up the purification of highly toxic water. It adds that water levels have been falling in the basement of the number one reactor since Tuesday evening, possibly because of steam and evaporation, but radiation levels remain too high to determine why. Now, why is this thing a fucking conspiratorial, fucking dummying down, lack of news report, which it is? The firm is measuring radioactivity in underground water around the number one reactor and checking if radioactive water is leaking from the building. Japan's electric power companies have reported over 340 faults and geographical changes near nuclear power plants that they previously did not consider to be risks. Their companies filed the reports with the industry ministry's Nuclear Industrial Safety Agency. An aftershock of the March 11th earthquake on April 11th has shifted a fault about 50 kilometers from the troubled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. The fault had been thought to be inactive. The agency instructed the utilities to reassess their plant's earthquake resistance and re-examine faults and geographical changes where plant operators had said the risk of earthquake damage was little or none. The agency said that the utilities had previously located 342 faults and geographical changes, but not taken them into account in assessing their plant's earthquake resistance. As usual, you got us in some serious shit here. These locations were thought to pose less risk because they have been inactive for more than 120,000 years or have not been regarded as faults. The agency will assess the company's reports and conduct field studies if necessary. The utilities are to reconsider the possible risks these faults may pose to their plants. The World Health Organization says the daily use of mobile phones has been linked to the development of brain tumors. The announcement was made on Tuesday in Lyon, France, during a meeting of scientists at the International Agency for Research on Cancer. The scientists analyzed the effect of electromagnetic waves on human health. They said evidence indicates a link between the use of mobile phones and a type of brain tumor called glioma, which destroys nerve cells. The researchers advised that mobile phones be placed in the third highest cancer risk category on the agency's five-scale classification system. The scientists said that brain tumors increased by 40% among people who used a mobile phone for 30 minutes a day over 10 years. They added that there is more research should be conducted. The decline in Japan's population is accelerating despite a slight increase in the number of births last year. The health ministry announced on Wednesday that the number of babies born in 2010 was 1,071,306, up 1,271 from the previous year. However, the number of deaths was 1,197,066, up 55,201. Consequently, the population declined by a record high 125,760, topping 100,000 for the first time. Last year, the average number of births per Japanese woman during her lifetime was 1.39, up 0.02 from the previous year. Japan's fertility rate stood at 4.54 in 1947. It hit a record low of 1.26 in 2005, but later rose for three years in a row. The birth rate has increased slightly, but the number of women of childbearing age is declining. The population decline will start accelerating. No shit.